Nestled within the idyllic countryside of Somerset, England, stands the ancient enigma of the Stanton Drew stone circles. Delving into the intricacies and purpose of these enigmatic ancient stone structures is a challenge that archaeologists and historians have faced for centuries. Believed to have been constructed in the late Neolithic to early Bronze Age, this dramatic location is the subject of an enduring mystery as to the purpose of the sprawling stone structures. The Stanton Drew stone circles, believed to have been erected around 3000 BC, are a testament to the ingenuity of their builders, comprising the Great Circle, the Northeast Circle, and the Cove, the complex rivals Stonehenge and Avebury in its magnitude and scale. The site's Great Circle ranks as the third largest stone circle in the United Kingdom. The precision evident in the positioning of these massive stones is a testament to the remarkable craftsmanship of the probable Stone Age megalith builders. Yet the ultimate purpose that drove their construction remains unclear, although there are theories. Some suggest that the stone circles were integral to ancient astronomical observations, possibly aligning with significant celestial events such as solstices or equinoxes. Alternatively, and perhaps additionally, these formations might have held religious or ceremonial importance. The stones, which are set on the floodplain of the River Chu, could have served as a communal gathering space for ritual practices, celebrations, or perhaps even funerary rites. The site allows visitors to immerse themselves in the ancient past, where these colossal stones stood witness to arcane rituals and ceremonies. As you wander among the stones, now populated by a dairy herd and access through private land and an honesty box charging a nominal fee set up by the landowner, you picture what the achingly old landscape might have looked like when it was in use. The stones have endured the ebb and flow of time while stubbornly refusing to give up their secrets. A trip to Stanton Drew definitely leaves you with more questions than answers, but is well worth a visit nonetheless. The desire to comprehend our past, or to just marvel at the scale of this achievement, is a humbling experience. The stone circles have been studied since the antiquarian John Aubrey visited in 1664, and some excavations of the site were carried out in the 18th century. More recently, in the late 20th and early 21st centuries, geophysical surveys were undertaken and confirmed the true size of the monuments, and spotted additional pits and enormous post holes arranged in elaborate concentric circles. As with a number of megalithic sites, the 4,500-year-old Stanton Drew Stones and Henge have spawned a number of folkloric myths and legends. One particularly lurid one is that the megaliths were dancers at a celebration who had been turned to stone. The legend states, on a Saturday night long ago, a wedding party danced in this meadow. When midnight came, the music stopped because the fiddler didn't want to perform on a Sunday. A handsome replacement started playing instead. He was the devil in disguise. The devil played faster and faster until the exhausted dancers fell over and were all turned into stone. As well as the stones and earthworks, there is another architectural oddity in the vicinity, the roundhouse or old toll house that stands just outside the small village. The intriguing 18th century building was used by coach drivers to pay a road toll. It adds immeasurably to the site's historic charm and was still occupied as a residential property on my visit. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.